my name is Dana McLeod and I'm an intermediate artist. I make videos and performance. Uh, usually I'm talking about sex or feminism or both or misogyny or homophobia and uh, usually it's kind of funny. Who wants to listen to somebody rant and yell and scream and make you feel bad or guilty or whatever? Um, I have that agenda, <laughs> but it's, it's easier to communicate uh, if you can make somebody laugh. Uh, and, and I think it, it does the, the, you know, the stereotype of the humorless feminist is so rampant. It would be nice to kind of cut that a little bit, you know, break that a little bit. The Incredibly Embarrassing Adventures of Vagina Dentata is an animation project that, uh, that we're shooting. So what we've done today is we've set up um, a physical set of Vagina Dentata's bedroom. This is going to be the opening scene. Actually, you know what we could do, Nicole, is I could, we've, can we, okay, so if we could do two shots like this, do 30 seconds of this, and then I'll just move the hands slightly, okay. and then I can cut back and forth. Every continent has a Vagina Dentata legend, and uh, basically in all of them, uh, a woman has teeth in her vagina and chops off somebody's dick essentially is is um, the fear factor there so you can pretty much write that out. So this project assumes that the, all those are true but that it's just some girl growing up in in Canada somewhere um, try, just going just trying to be a teenager just trying to make it through. So one of the challenges I have with this project is uh, given the uh, content is what does she look like? So do I use you know like little kid legs like this uh, or more like kind of teenager legs like this. I think those are the vagina dentata legs because I can make them kind of awkward and they got these dorky boots on. I have enough stuff and sets to make this project till, you know, for the rest of my life. Um, but I do have three mapped out. One is about menstruation or first, you know, menstruation. The second is about um, a nose job. And the third is about her first sexual experience. I grew up all over Canada. Uh, my dad was in the RCMP, he was a Mountie. So we ended up in Alberta. I went to high school in Edmonton. I went to art school in Calgary. I went to the Alberta College of Art and Design. And uh, then I wanted to come to Montreal to go to grad school, to go to Concordia, to do my MFA in open media, which uh, essentially is, you know, kindergarten for grown-ups. And, uh, and, and by that, I mean, you can, you know, you do whatever you want. You can, you're not uh, a slave to a medium. In 1998, I uh, made this video called How to Fake an Orgasm. I had finished the residency component of uh, my MFA and was sort of left to my own devices to come up with a thesis exhibition. It was a one-shot video, 10 minutes. I would totally cut that in half nowadays, but anyway, that's what it was. Um, and I released that and I entered this contest um, on a website called Planet Out, which is uh, an LGBT website, and I won for best comedy. So they flew me out to LA, they gave me a little bit of money, I got a trophy and everything, uh, and it was all very exciting. Um, so, so I guess that was sort of the big marker of, of hey, 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 you've made it now or something. We have such an amazing art scene here, right? Uh, music, dance, theater, cabaret especially. Uh, and one of the things that I've been involved with uh, in the past is the Kiss My Cabaret, uh, which Danette Mackay hosted. It's, it's no longer in existence. But this was um, a really fantastic cabaret scene that she put together that brought, that pulled from all of these different types of arts communities. And one of the things that I really enjoyed about the cabaret, first of all, was the format, but also really good testing ground for stuff. Like I, you know, uh, started my beaver there, if you will. Oh, Canada, show us your beaver. You can't live in Quebec without French influencing your work. You can't, I'm sorry, unless you're living on, in, you know, in, you never leave your house and never turn on the TV or the radio or the internet. And this new project, I, I, I totally, um, I, I want to reflect uh, linguistically, if we're just talking linguistically, um, fr French culture and French content. I see myself as an Anglo export, for sure. Um, I, I've done really well in terms of video. Uh, internationally, across the country, in terms of all the different hats, all artists wear. You know, I'm a, a woman artist, I'm a queer artist, I'm a uh, cabaret artist. 
I guess when I go to festivals and I go um, present work or go talk about work, uh, I'm also representing Quebec and Montreal.